Alright, right, second is episode 2 of the Discord bot tutorial series. In this video, we are going to be working with events and event listeners to, um, on, with our bot. So, let's get right into it. So, an event is essentially something that runs whenever a, cer a certain thing happens. So, there's events for when a message is sent, for when someone joins a, a guild, or guild servers called guilds in JDA. Um, there's events for when reactions are added, all of this. So, event listeners is that is um, something that runs when that happens. So, we can create a listener which listens for that event and then whatever we have in our listener will run. So, we can have it say when a message is sent, another message is sent back, for example. So, to do this, we need to create a new class called listeners. You can obviously call this whatever you like. All of this is, um, you know, I've made this, um, you know, my data, my structure of packages and classes can be changed. However, also I just re I need to mention, sitting between these episodes, I have made a class with a string in it with my token. So the token can remain secret for this tutorial, so I don't have to reset it every time. So this class, this listener class, is going to extend, extend listener, a listener adapt adapter. Now, what this class is, is it has a bunch of methods in it that we can override, which like which will run on the well on when an event happens. So you can see all of them here. So you've got uh, by the way, in IntelliJ to get to that you press control and click on a class to have a look at it. So we've got you know things like um well, on ready on ready is when you know it's um is when the bot is turned on you've got things like slash command interaction we'll be using that next next time uh we've got um what else what message received obviously that's when the bot receives a message on the discord on the discord server message delete that's when the message is that's when a message is deleted obviously and there's a load of them. Uh, if you don't want to look at them like this, there is also, I'll leave a link to a website in the description, which is the GitHub, a part of, part of the GitHub page in the wiki, has the list of events, and it has all the events here. Um, but, so, to go, start off with, um, I'm going to be doing the on ready. Now, on ready is a very useful one, very important. Uh, so, in here, you might want to say, uh, do something, so when the bot turns on, you might, and if you want to do something when the bot turns on, you might think, oh, I'll just put it in the main method, when actually you don't want to do that because the bot, in the main method, the bot isn't fully turned on yet. So, in the main method, let's say I wanted to list all of the, gil all of the guilds uh, in our bot um, on startup. If I did, let's say I did four guild guild in JDA dot get guilds, um, then if I did, uh, if I just printed out the uh, guild dot get name name, then what would happen is this would actually throw an error because currently. In the main method, well, it should throw an error anyway. Okay, so I made a mistake, but uh, still you'll see it didn't work. Because obviously there's no guilds in it, doesn't, it hasn't registered it. So what we have to do is we can have the on ready event. This is when everything's ready, everything's been initialized and all that. We can do, uh, we can do JDA, I'll get our JDA by doing JDA equals event get JDA. Uh, and then we can do, say, we can just do uh, for guild guild in JDA dot get guilds. We can just system dot out dot print line guild dot get name. So now what we need to do is we actually have to register this so we do jda in here in our main method dot add event listener and a new listener and then we can run this and hopefully what should happen 
is we should there we go we've got mine mine's in the bot testing server so we've got that now we can also do in the guild we can do say for guild actually no, let's do yeah for channel that's channel in channel in guild dot guild get channel text channels we can do channel dot send message and then we can put message let's put hello now when sending messages in jda uh, and a lot of things in jda it doesn't actually work it returns something called a rest action now you can see or a message action or some sort of action so what we need to do is if we do this if we just add a semicolon colon you'll see we'll get an error saying result of, of this is ignored this is because we need to queue it we do dot q certain things are not complete but most things are dot q so dot q is probably a go to so what this should do is for every channel it should send a message so if we do this see down here got a message that's because here we've got this so we've got some testing going on here now that is the on ready command obviously there's a lot more uses for that like basically it's just your sort of startup logic um for once everything's initialized but and then you can think of you might be thinking well, what's the point of this having this here as well well this can sort of also be your sort of um setup so your pre-initialization setup so registering event listeners and stuff like that so another really useful event is the on message received so the on message received is um basically whenever a message gets received so we can do event dot get author which you know, we can do event dot get channel and this is going to give us the channel i'm going to uh i'm going to set this as a variable um and so what we can do is we can do channel dot send message we can just send a message um let's let's repeat it so if i do event dot get message dot get content raw that's going to be give me a string of what was in the message and obviously we need to queue this so what this should do is it gets the channel as a variable up there and it's going to send a message to the channel to that is basically the message in itself now there is going to be a problem with this that we'll see in a minute but I'm going to rerun this and bring over Discord. And what we should see is, oh, there we go. That was, that was one of that is part of the problem. Oh, I'm going to turn off the, uh, I'm going to actually get rid of this on ready because it's sort of messing a little bit up. I'm going to rerun that. So it shouldn't say anything when it's on the start now. But our bot turns on. And if I send a message, if I say hi, it's going to send one back. But it's also receiving its own message. So it's detecting that there's a message sent on the server, but the server, the message that's been sent is the bots one. So what we can do is we can do um, up here if event dot get author dot is bot, then we're just going to return. And so then we should be if I rerun this, it should ignore any message sent by bot. Uh, then we can so we can do hi, and that's only going to send one because it's ignoring this one uh, I believe there's also a message called is self user nope there isn't okay well in some things there are uh, which just means it is the self um, but yeah so that is so we can do that and we can so that is a good way to also do sort of censoring so if you want you know every time a message is sent if it's got that word in it or something you can delete it but um, yeah, so that is how you use event listeners. Um, it's very simple. Uh, you can do it. Obviously, this is just a very basic overview of them. But um, that is basically all you need to know about them. Uh, so next episode, we should be doing something about maybe hopefully slash commands. Um, so I guess I'll catch them.